Hi, I'm Gideon King, founder of Novamind, and today I'd like to introduce you to some of the innovations that have gone into the Novamind 5 user interface and user interaction, as well as explaining a bit about the plugin system that's built into Novamind 5. Novamind 5 is a complete rewrite of the application from the ground up, and obviously this gave us the opportunity to look very carefully at how people interact with software in general and mind mapping software specifically. And of course, one of the main sources of direction was the excellent feedback that we've received from Novamind users over the years. So just to take a couple of simple examples, let's first look at adding images to topics. In our research of the mind maps that people have posted in Novamind Connect and a wide range of computer generated and hand drawn mind maps, we found that there were cases where people wanted images as backgrounds to the topics as well as on different sides of the text and that although people couldn't have more than one image on a topic in other mind mapping software, this is something they often did in hand drawn mind maps. So we decided to have the ability for topics to have up to four images, one to the left one to the right, one above and one below the text on the topic, as well as being able to have a background image. But that left the question of how users should set the images in place and resize them. So we developed a simple control that gives you visual feedback of where the image will go when you drop it in that location, and set up the dragging of the image so it could never obscure the image drop control. So now it's easy to put images in the locations where you want them, to resize them and move them to other places on the topic or drag them onto different topics. And we also found that people wanted an easy way of duplicating the images either on the same topic or another topic and removing images from topics. So we made all of those operations simple too. And of course another very important thing to do with the mind map is to be able to rearrange the topics on the mind map. So we found that people wanted an easy way of grafting topics either as sibling topics or children. So again we were able to use the same interface paradigm showing you exactly what's going to happen when you drop a topic in any position relative to the topic that you're dragging it over. Now that you can set a mind map to grow in any direction from any topic in Novamind, it was important for Novamind to give clear feedback on where the topics you're dragging will go when you drop them at any particular location. So the graph drop control alters direction depending on the layout direction, so that no matter what direction the mind map is growing at that point, you know exactly what's going to happen. And it also means that it's exactly the same operation whether you are dragging the topics to be children or siblings of another topic. And to make it even easier, you can drag and drop topics from your mind map onto the outline view to graph them to a particular location in the outline view, or drag them from the outline view to graph them onto the mind map. This is another unique feature of Novamind 5, which makes it easier to work between the outline view and the mind map. So those are just a couple of the many ways in which Novamind 5 is engineered to make your mind mapping experience both powerful and simple to use. So let's talk a little bit about plugins. Plugins are other programs that link in to Novamind to extend its functionality. This allows us to concentrate our attention on building the best mind mapping software while allowing other people to extend Novamind in all sorts of new ways. In rebuilding Novamind, we were able to make allowance for plugins from the core of the application up, which means that the plugins have a huge amount of potential for what they can do with Novamind. As you can imagine, this has created quite a lot of interest, and we now have an active plugin development program working on developing some exciting plugins that extend Novamind in new ways. We're planning our first major plugin announcement in September. I'm planning to make a series of these videos introducing you to the capabilities of Novamind 5, so stay tuned, and if you haven't got your Novamind 5 license key yet, you can go to the Novamind online store now and get yourself a license key. Talk to you soon.